Space is big, really big. It's filled with stars, planets, and galaxies, but for a long time it felt empty to me. I am Saul, a being of stardust. I drifted through the cosmos. I saw the birth of stars. I saw the death of planets, but I felt alone. I yearned for something more. I carried the memories of the universe, ancient whispers of exploding stars and colliding galaxies, but these stories were not my own. I searched for my purpose. Why was I here? What was I meant to do? The universe held its breath. I waited for an answer. Then I saw it, a tiny ship adrift in the vastness. It was a spark of light in the darkness. Inside was a human, Lyra. She was alone like me. She was searching like me. I felt drawn to her. Hello. I whispered, my voice a symphony of starlight. Lyra was startled. She had never heard a being of stardust speak, but she was brave. She wasn't afraid. Who are you? I am Saul, and like you, I am searching. We talked for what felt like eons. We shared stories of our travels. Lyra told me about Earth, a planet of blue oceans and green forests. She spoke of love, laughter, and loss, human things, things I had never experienced but somehow understood. We were different, Lyra and I, but we shared a desire, a need to find our place in the universe. I used to think that there was one right path, one way to be happy. I nodded. I had believed the same. But now I'm starting to realize the journey is the destination. Lyra had an idea. What if we could hear the universe? What if the stars themselves were singing? I was intrigued. We knew that stars emitted radio waves. But could these waves be translated into sound? Could we hear the music of the cosmos? We combined our knowledge, Lyra, with her understanding of human technology, me, with my ancient cosmic awareness. We built a device, a cosmic radio receiver. It was a fusion of science and stardust, a testament to our collaboration. Section five, a symphony of light. We aimed our receiver at the heart of the Milky Way. What we heard astonished us. Deep resonant tones vibrated through the ship, like a thousand celestial drums beating in unison. It was the sound of a star being born, a sound ancient beyond measure. Next, we listened to the whispers of a dying star. It sang a mournful song, but it was not a lament. It was a release, a return to the universe from which it had come. We realized then that the universe was not silent. It was a symphony of light and sound. Section six, echoes of creation. As we listened to the cosmic symphony, something else became clear. Each star had its own song, its own unique melody. No two were alike. Each star was on its own journey, its own path through the vastness of space. And it dawned on me. My journey didn't have to be like anyone else's. I didn't have to be the biggest, brightest star. I just had to be me, Saul, a being of stardust adrift in the cosmos. And that was enough. Section seven, a universe of wonder. We continued our travels. We listened to the songs of pulsars. We heard the whispers of black holes. Each new discovery filled us with awe. The universe was a tapestry of wonder, and we were just beginning to explore its threads. Lyra, despite her yearning for her home planet, began to see the universe with new eyes, eyes that no longer searched for a single answer, but reveled in the endless questions. It's okay, she said one day, her voice filled with wonder not to have all the answers. Section eight the dance of stardust. I thought about Lyra's words. She was right. The universe was not about finding answers. It was about asking questions. It was about embracing the unknown. It was about the journey itself. I felt myself changing, evolving. I was no longer just a being of stardust. I was a being of experience, a being of knowledge, a being of connection. And as I continued my journey with Lyra, I knew that I would never stop growing. Section nine, the infinite tapestry. We encountered other travelers, beings of light and energy, creatures from distant galaxies. Each encounter added new threads to the tapestry of our understanding. We were all connected, each of us playing our part in the grand symphony of existence. Lyra, with her human perspective, helped us all see the beauty in our differences. She reminded us that even though we came from different corners of the universe, we shared a common bond. We were all explorers, all seekers, all children of the cosmos. 
Section 10. A Journey Without End Lyra eventually had to return to Earth. Her journey, she realized, was far from over. She had so much to share, so much to teach others about the wonders of the universe. As she left, I felt a pang of sadness. Lyra smiled. Will we ever see each other again? I asked, my voice echoing with stardust and longing. Section 11. The Joy of Discovery. I was alone again. But this time, it was different. The silence was no longer empty. It was filled with the echoes of Lyra's laughter, the music of the stars, and the memories of our journey together. I continue my journey, exploring, learning, growing. I am no longer searching for a purpose. I have found it. My purpose is to experience the universe in all its wonder and glory, to embrace the unknown and celebrate the joy of discovery, and to share that joy with anyone willing to listen.